Uh, it's something that's really, really easy to implement, and I want to encourage everyone to implement a some sort of sequence of mailers uh, to your clients, your buyer clients and your seller clients from the point that they they uh, sign a loyalty agreement for buyers or they sign a listing agreement um, as sellers. So in our business, in Top Producer, we manage this. Uh, when we bring a buyer, uh, like a, a new buyer client, so they simply just sign a loyalty agreement, they haven't purchased a house yet, a letter goes out to them. We don't send out the card. Um, you know, any kind of raving fan club card, but a letter goes out. Um, just says, welcome, welcome to, welcome to the company. Thanks uh, so much for placing your trust in us. Buying a home is a huge step. It's our goal to become an asset and resource. All those things in the spirit of providing you with more. Uh, we basically tell them about the benefits of, of membership and the list of benefits card is here. And I've been doing this even when I didn't have a physical office space. And so you can kind of make up some benefits. A lot of these things everyone can offer. Um, but anyway, so that's a list of benefits card. We've had these tweaked over the years, but you can have them say anything that you want uh, to say here. They can come in, come in and get, you know, free uh, fax or scan. Well, nobody faxes anymore, but copier use, um, use of a conference room, special events, uh, referrals, cash flow analysis on investment properties those sort of things. So that goes in this first letter. So we get, we, we literally just sign a buyer. This letter goes out with the benefit card. One thing we used to do when we got away from, but I suggest everyone do it because everyone loves it is that part of your new client sequence should be a send out cards, brownies, and you can set up a, a card uh, in there. Um, that's kind of geared toward welcoming them, but uh, people love them. And I think they're only about like six bucks to send out. Uh, so you could do that. You could send the benefits card with this letter when they go under contract. Uh, congratulations on your accepted contract. And we give them more information and we include another list of benefits card. So we're constantly talking to them about the benefits and, of working with us. And nobody really does this stuff. Uh, so it's just kind of drilling, drilling that, that in there. And then at closing, we send them this, uh, this survey, it's a net promoter score survey. So the net promoter score question is this simple question. On a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to refer your friends and family to the large group? One is very unlikely and 10 is very likely. Pure, open and honest disclosure. When I first started doing this, we probably, and it's been a few, a couple, I guess over a couple of years now, uh, we didn't get response from a lot of the people that we were serving. and. I don't know this, you know, definitively, but my my gut tells me that it was because we weren't providing overwhelmingly awesome service to every client that we served. And I wish I would have done this sooner and and solicited feedback from our clients sooner. And so now, and for the last uh, two and a half years or so, as we've been doing this, for the people that we don't get them for, we reach out to them and, and find out find out why. We would hear from the ones, you know, the, the small percentage of clients that didn't get a good service and sort of, you know, wanted us to, to burn in hell. Uh, we would get, um, and it's, it's not a lot, but you, you hear from those people. And then you hear from the nines and tens, people that for whatever reason, you know, even if it wasn't systematic at the time, they got a great experience with, with us. Um, but I, I, I believe there's a bunch of, you know, three, fours, five, sixes, and even sevens aren't great. Um, that just weren't responding. They were getting this form and we include a $10 Starbucks card in this form. We send this 10 bucks. We used to send it after they gave the review. And we found that just switching that one thing doubled the response. So we give somebody $10 and they're, they're, they're going to respond uh, to us. And at 400 sides, it's $4,000. And, you know, it's not, it's not a big amount of money to make sure we're giving good, uh, good service to our clients, not good service, great service. The focus here as I've been out of the business is to provide world-class service, like going to Disney, going on a Disney cruise. I'll happily pay twice as much to go on a Disney cruise because it is a true world-class experience as far as, uh, as that goes.